Oh yeah, what up guys? Big Dan over here coming back at ya. Yeah, with another Tech Review Tuesdays. And um, we're gonna be going over a little bit about what I use for macro photography. And uh, as you see, it's the Oshiro 2 to 1 Super Macro Lens, F2.8, 60 millimeter. And uh, there's the lens. Um, what it comes with in the box is just your basic lens and uh, a little bag, a uh, little tote, little bag thing to keep it in. And um, as you see, I got a little adapter on there, uh, Canon to Sony E-mount. So I got the Sony E-mount adapter to hook that up to my A7R 3 And uh, with the resolution of the A7R 3 compared with this uh, super macro lens, I could get some pretty good uh, close-up product shots, uh, whether you're doing product photography or whatever you're doing. But again, this is uh, only a two to one, so this ain't my main go-to. It's not uh, as close as like a, a 10 to one objective scope or even the MPE 65 uh, five to one. But I find this real, real handy to do a little bit more than just the one-to-one -one regular macro lens. Uh, Two-to-one gives you obviously double the one-to-one. -one. And um, it comes in real handy for uh, flower shots, uh, some extract shots, where you don't really want to get all the way into the actual trichome itself. You know what I mean? So. Uh, a lot of my images now, the real, real super up close ones, are I'm using the 10 to 1 to get those heads popping. And uh, you can see clear as day, the heads. Uh, but with this, um, paired with uh, just a little macro rail for focusing, um, it does the job great. You could get some great stacks, super edge to edge clarity on all your photos. Uh, no complaints. Um, it's not very expensive. It's only around uh, like three, maybe three fifty, and uh, you could probably find better deals on it um, if you search around, get a used one or something. So uh, for the price point, it's a great lens. Again, it's not autofocus. It's fully manual. Um, I suggest shooting around five point six uh, to get full clarity and a little bit less depth of field. So you don't got to do too much photo stacking. And uh, yeah, it's a great all around lens, guys. So uh, definitely if you're in the market, uh, if you're up and coming and you're trying to get your hands on a little bit something better than just a one to one or whatever you're working with, like a kit lens or something like that. I highly suggest this uh, being that it's a manual lens. You could adapt it with uh, different adapters and you don't have to worry about losing autofocus or none of that. And it's got the manual aperture ring. So very simple to use, but again, it is manual. So um, it's, it don't got the autofocus and uh, you lose, you know, you lose some of your features from your uh, cameras. But if you know what you're doing, you don't really shoot with uh, autofocus when you're doing macro shots anyway. So. Uh, it does the job, it does what it's supposed to do. And as a photographer that does macro shots, and especially with rails and focus stacking, uh, you never use autofocus anyway. But again, uh, this is more for, you know, using it with a light box or something like that. So you don't, uh, you don't have to, you know, it's not a running gun. You're not gonna be running around, uh, hanging off of ladders and trying to get up close shots. Um, it is fully metal. It's a nice metal body. It uh, feels great, uh, locks on great. And um, yeah, I have no complaints with that for uh, a beginner all the way up to a professional. It's a, a great, great go-to lens. And uh, it really helps with that aperture going to 2.8 um, to let a lot of light in there. And especially doing uh, up close shots, you know, you need a lot of light to get in and uh, stuff like that. But if you if you light and bright and you got uh, macro rings, uh, flash rings and stuff, 
Um, you're going to shoot a little bit, you know, in between 5.6 or f all the way up to 5.11 or something like that to get more, uh, less depth of field and uh, better clarity. So it is great, great lens. I'll try to um, attach some photos at the end of this and uh, you guys can see for yourself what it does. And uh, you could always just uh, visit my Instagram, uh, Big Dan's Green Thumb on Instagram, and you could uh, definitely check out more photos there of uh, what this lens is capable to do. And uh, yeah, that's about it for another Tech Review Tuesday. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, be sure to comment, subscribe, share, smash that like button if that's what you're into. And uh, holla at your boy. I'm always here to help. And I appreciate all you guys. Hit me up. Peace. Big Dan, over and out.